I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm not gonna use any presentations. I'm gonna be speaking. And I'm also hoping to get uh, uh, feedback from you. Uh, please uh, stop me and uh, ask questions if uh, during, uh, if that's needed. And uh, just uh, take it as it goes, and there should be plenty of time for questions at the end. Um, so today's uh, hierarchy of power. We are we are uh, seldom uh, able to make all the choices that we want. We are born into a world where we have no control at the first. We slowly gain more and more power over ourselves, but it has its limits. At first, it is our primary caregivers that set the limits, then other adults and teachers, and finally governments and other forms of rules and regulations. We did not have a say in it, and we have little influence over it. But we cannot exist without the structures we have. All these rules and regulations that we have is what makes it possible to go through our days with some sort of predictability. Imagine going down the road and people having different ideas about what rules to follow. Like red means go and green means stop. That would probably end up in chaos. So the powerhouses we have today, uh, the systems that we have built up are getting uh, old and, and rigid. They are uh, slow to change and hard to influence. And that's not good in a world that is changing. So to change the systems from the inside, people have to go through the culture that already exists that will shape the mind of the person because I believe culture is infectious. And uh, many people come in with a will to make a change, but gets demotivated by the people that already tried and failed. Cooperation is not easy. I have tried. Uh, the main challenge is that one needs to inspire, not force, using money or fear of punishment. And we are also all different, so we want different things, and we have different goals. And many of us had uh, techniques to dominate, hand it down, them up through daily lives, uh, and others have been taught to be dominated. For, I believe that for, uh, for true cooperation to exist, we need some basic things. We need equality that each person uh get as much uh as much say in things as others uh, we need knowledge everyone should have access to all the knowledge that we have we should be able to contribute to that knowledge uh, we need stability and predictability everyone should have a basics for survival uh, and we need objectability, removing, or I believe that if we can remove the person uh, from their opinions, like uh, anonymize uh, um, uh, opinions, uh, that can uh, allow us to listen to a, a five-year-old. Uh, uh, 40 year old, uh, or uh, uh, we, we can view the information without the bias, uh, allowing us to open up our minds more and more. Um, so, I believe that we should build a cooperation platform, and that is what I've been working on on the side uh, for a while now. But unfortunately, I got sick uh, last year and, uh, and I had to put everything, or I ended up putting everything aside uh, to focus on the health uh, first and foremost. And um, I, uh, I'm, I'm now picking it up uh, with this uh, conference again. Um, 
we can build a platform where we can collect, create, and sort the knowledge. Uh, each individual could create their knowledge tree, uh, and that being mirrored out into the, um, the public space. <clears throat> so imagine a place where everyone that has a passion or an ID that is uh, similar, they can find each other and work on a story to inspire more people. And they can also uh, create a plan to make it a reality. Um, so that as we are gaining more and more knowledge, uh, that, and that as we are um, moving this plan into reality, um, we, can, we can readjust the plan and enter the knowledge uh, that or uh, the instances that uh, made us to change the plan <clears throat> so that the others that come afterwards uh, can uh, can understand why a uh, change was made and <clears throat> i think a, a very cool thing that we can do on computers is that we can actually pretend that the world is equal we can give uh, everyone a fictional part of all the resources that are created or produced daily and let the people use these uh, resources to pledge or to give to their projects of choice. Um, so we can have a, we can start everything without needing that much. We can uh, get people together first. And by, cooperate, uh, by cooperating, uh, instead of competing, uh, we can create tools and services uh, together that are needed for the IDs to become reality. Uh, some IDs might need 3D printers and uh, bigger machines. Uh, some people need uh, just brain, uh, brain activity like... Uh, Energy sector and huh? which is directly related to sustainability. And so, somehow think about it. But sustainability also can be related to business and organization structure, such as, uh, you know. Yes. Uh, I, I was thinking that we can use uh, this uh, also for uh, corporations or. If, if we can, if we can uh, uh, remove the people in power uh, and instead have a system that we designed and created uh, together, um, where people have different uh, different roles, uh, that could uh, could uh, or that would uh, stimulate uh, for us to think uh, long term. Uh, because we need or we want stability for ourselves and um, <clears throat> so for example in a, in a company uh, each role uh, have different tasks and those tasks uh, can many many times uh, be um, uh, or <clears throat> um, we we have uh, okay. So today's today's system, uh, you have the same viewing point uh, for each person that comes in and and looks at it. Uh, like uh, in uh, the company that I used to work for, we had a management system, and everybody would uh, basically come into that system in, uh, from the same perspective and have to find their place in the, in the system. And, and uh, we would have a, a very, a, a lot of information about uh, each role. Um, I imagine that there could be a system where <clears throat> each person has, um, has their own, own tasks, uh, in a structure that makes sense for them. 
but they can also talk to to the bigger system or the the common system um, and that we <clears throat> that we build agreements um yeah to 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 work together um i'm not sure if that answered your question or not okay um i'll try and continue a little bit more and uh we'll see how it goes um basically uh, so we're at the why we should cooperate and that we can create tools and services that's needed for the ideas to become a reality and uh, things are also more fun to do together i've uh, i've had that uh, challenge of uh, of trying to to start something and um unless someone else is is doing a part uh, it gets harder and harder over time another thing that we could create is a new marketplace where time has uh, time is the new currency and uh and uh, a market that where people can contribute where they uh best fit in and we can create a living structure that changes with the world and the people in it so <clears throat> the difficult part is to build this uh, co cooperation platform and i have been working um, on that for a while uh, i believe that it is possible to um, to build a computer program in a new way um, from the bottom up using um, using uh, uh, pointers basically uh, I'm not going to go into the technical aspects too much right now because uh, they're not uh, they're not ready but the, the idea would be that each person or each, each user is a, one person and one person can only have one user and each person uh, should be running its uh, its own program where uh, they can connect the information and knowledge in a way that makes sense for them um, <clears throat> We should also have a, a, a split world where we have, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, an anonymous, um, where we make the decisions that are, are um, uh, where we make the agreements uh, that we um, that we work with or work under. The reason it uh, no nah, sorry uh, we we take um, in in this uh, sphere in this uh, location uh, the structure would over time be uh, organized uh, with the help of users um, because everything that a person takes from this uh, tree. Uh, goes into their own, own tree and uh, they can again share where in this tree uh, they chose to have their information or where, what if, uh, what choices they took uh, that could leave uh, a location uh, like a vote uh, in both locations uh, so that we can um, that we can confirm uh, the vote, uh, yeah, with the with tickets basically. But uh, 
the the uh, idea of this uh, program is that uh, we would um, be a very low low weight program that uh, that gives the uh, possibility to to bring a lot inf a lot of information with you and to basically create it or rebuild it uh, on different uh, surfaces or different um, platforms like cell phones and uh, iPads. Um, unfortunately, as I have been sick and uh, some uh, unplanned things happened, I don't have that much more details right now. I didn't have a, a good presentation to, to show everything. Um, but I hope that you, you get the gist of what I'm, I'm trying to propose. Um, basically, uh, giving, giving uh, or creating a space of equality. Yes. Any questions? <laughs> 